What the fresh heck is going on here, ladies and gents? My name is Divic, and holy cow, we're back with another episode. Now, this was originally meant to be a different episode altogether. We're going to start some breeding, some more breeding, and kind of just do a new thing. However, however, there's a lot of creatures I want to breed right now, and honestly, I'm thinking a bigger base area is definitely required. And what is with this lag? Oh my god, helping? Yeah, all right. So, I have selected a new Jesus. I have selected a new area for us to build, and I have all of the creatures needed to kind of take take down everything. Uh, we got all the defenders in the universe. Uh, let's see. And I just I spent some time collecting a bunch of tech stuff. We have a whole lot of defenders and things that want to keep us safe. Uh, we got our quad quad stack of paleo gigas. Well, just one of them is more than enough, but still, I like to over overcompensate. Uh, we got we got a quetzal to help us uh, cart certain creatures to this and here and there. We got a stego to help with the uh, with the trees and with the uh, plants and whatnot. There is Eno for the trees, and then Dodic and Anki for the rocks. And that, friends, is why we have defenders. Okay. So welcome back. And I decided, I decided to go ahead and move areas. And, and here's where we are. I'm gonna go ahead and fly up a little bit. This is where we are. And I chose this area because, well, I mean, it's actually quite decently sized. And also, it's definitely flatter than the previous one. And also, there's plenty of area to work with. So if I need to extend out left or right, it'll work out just fine. Now, the point of this particular build is that it's going to be long, but also tall. Because I want to build a breed uh, fairly large creatures in this thing. It might be it might be open. It might just be taller. I don't know. But I want to be able to uh, be able to breed bigger creatures like the, the Dinotherium and whatnot, and also breed up to six to maybe nine creatures at the same time. And this also function as the main base. Now I don't know if my poor little computer will be able to handle all of that. I hope so. But um, it's going to be mostly tech, some metal, and also glass. Like, that that's kind of the medium I chose because I like all three of those mixed, mixed together. I think it looks quite nice. And, you know, it gives us a, I mean, a real good chance to go ahead and uh, make something new without, like, disrupting the previous build. Okay. Welcome back, welcome back. And so, um, I've made a decision. I uh, made a decision, I made a decision. Uh, let's activate this, so I can zoom in. Can I zoom in? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, here's a, it's me. So I decided to go ahead and just gut the whole thing. So I picked up everything. So, there we are. And I decided to add a little bit more shape to this thing, because honestly, this is probably gonna be the last thing I build in Ark ever. So, Want to make sure it looks cool, about as cool as possible, and kind of go from there. So, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make several little circles. I've done I've done this before for a build, where I've made like several like smaller buildings and then one massive one for like bigger creatures. Because the the mo the mo point of this particular base is that it's meant to be like a breeding area. Like that's kind of the whole point. So let's, you know what, let's start with the great big one. We're going to go over here and just kind of start laying them out. At time of recording, so this is like Saturday that I'm recording this particular bit of the episode, um, the Community Crunch came out and the official servers have now shut down. And it was a big emotional moment. I see a lot of, a lot of people on Twitter posting like, hey, thank you, Mark, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I, I definitely want to do something like that at some stage. But um, I'm not done playing this game yet. Until we know for a fact when art or ASA is dropping, I think I will be doing that. Okay. So this is, like, probably, like, 
20, 30 minutes later. Uh, excuse me, Beta. Can you not do the shake, shaky shake right now, brother? Thank you. But uh, yeah, right over here, we got one platform. We got two platforms. And three. And I think that's good. But beta, beta, beta. Thank you. Okay, actually, I'm just going to jump off your head now. Because, yeah. I keep, I keep forgetting that if you jump off a freaking Paleo Giga, you don't get fault damage. I keep forgetting that. So, wait, why didn't I... Do I have God Mode on? No, I don't. <laughs> you can just jump off jump off of a Giga and be totally fine. But, yeah, these are the three platforms. Um, I actually forgot to grab a couple things that I need at the main base. So, I'm going to have to go grab that. Uh, I need window frames. I need window frames for a specific reason. And that is because, well, um, yeah, you kind of need a place to put the, put the, uh, the AC units. Because th these, these are, these are breeding centers, obviously. So, yeah. Oop. So, one thing we're going to do, one thing we're going to do is we're first, first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and grab some ramps. And everywhere where there is a triangle foundation, let's go to get a ramp. So, i.e. a walkway to just walk. I mean, because, I mean, all creatures can. I mean, it's, it's just for simplicity's sake, right? And, oh my gosh, my, my poor computer. I mean, I swear, sometimes if I'm recording and I have a bunch of stuff open, I mean, that's, prob that's probably exactly what's going on. Because this, this, this is not a gaming computer. Like, this is not, a, this is not meant for, like, loads and loads of gaming. So it's like rendering and whatnot is is not the best on it. I mean, I, I'm able to get a lot, some pretty good frames for like you guys, but for me right now, as I'm recording, it's pretty framey. So I mean, that's good enough for me. So this is also a nice little tutorial on how I how I built up my uh my little breeding areas. So yeah, boom. So right there in the middle. It's going to be a window frame, and that window frame, and in that window frame, because this is an S, S plus thing exclusively, um, I will put an AC unit. So everywhere where there's a regular old foundation, boom, 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 and boom, and boom, and boom. Now that's why that's why I put three right here. Now for the bigger ones, that that's what that's going to be. That's what it's going to look like. So. You can see it here. It's gonna be the same over here, and also the same, I think, over here. Actually, no, because this one's not as big. So what we're gonna do instead is have just oh, wait, which one is my walls again? That's three. So instead, we'll have one one wall. You know what? I'm gonna stand up here so I don't confuse myself because I will definitely confuse myself. Actually, wait, hold on. How did I have it before? Oh no, that's right, cause that's right, that's right. I remember now, cause it, it's a smaller one. So actually, I did the opposite frame of mine. So if it's smaller, if it has two or less, two or even one foundation, you swap it, because you want two regular walls and then the window wall. So we want boom, boom, for the smaller ones now. So that's where you put the. That's where you. That's why you wouldn't want want to put the. Uh, the old, uh, what's it called there instead? On the triangles instead of the thing. So which, whichever side has the most foundations on it is the side that you want to put your uh, your walls. Because there's three. So you want two walls on either side and then, a, and then one in the middle. And the reason for that is, especially for like smaller creatures, you put a female right here, female right here, and then have a male like right here-ish. And then put a, uh, a, what's it called right here? Uh, the dino storage thing. Right there. Right there in, right there in that. Alright. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, wrong button. So. Check it out. I went a little crazy. And behold, this is the first one. Still have the other two to go. But, um, this is what we have. And you know what? This is the big one. I'm quite satisfied with it, honestly. I think it looks dope. 
I may put these back a little bit now that I actually see what. So I might push these back to like right here, just just so there's a little bit more space. Because the whole, the whole point of the great big one is to make get like maybe dinotheriums in here. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, no, this was quite the process. I gotta say though, getting all the all of this into the proper position and all that other stuff. It was, a, it was a bit of a riot to figure out, but oh man, I'll tell you what. Let's move you over though. And then where are my triangles? There you are. Okay. So we just went up a fair distance. We'll only go that far up. We got glass wall, glass wall. looks cool actually yeah that's that's that I believe that's the same height as the other one so yeah cool 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 now wait how did I do it again okay on the inside so now to match we're gonna jump up actually no not jump up let's go ahead boom there we go okay and boom and boom, perfect. So now we have a scaffolding to work with. And so basically, at this point, you're gonna go ahead and fly, oh gosh, fly up and match your ceilings. Now I'm going on the inside here because, well, the inside is where the rest of the roof is gonna go, so let's make it nice and easy. So turn all the way around. Oh, the editing for this video is going to be a pain in the neck and tell okay sorry about that that took a second we're back we're back we're back and I got the ceilings all placed down oh my gosh why is placing ceilings always so difficult or not ceilings the walls not even, not even the ceilings actually just making sure everything's all lined up as neatly as possible now not unlike this up unlike the other one we're actually gonna keep it to one wall high And I may put some more greenhouse on the outer edge just to differentiate this one from the other ones. Because one thing one thing to note is that whenever you're doing multiple buildings, like how kinda like how I'm doing, is you wanna make sure that you don't end up getting pieces uh, multiple buildings that are too samey. Unless that's kind of the whole point. Right? So you you'll wanna make sure that each one it looks good but it's also like different from each other. So whereas that one is open on the inside, this one has is a little bit cl more closed off. Maybe, we'll see how that looks. Yeah, boom, there we go. And we're actually gonna then go ahead and continue on and close it all the way up. I might do like a speedy up bit here because I think that would be cool. Oops. Nope. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Nope. Wrong and correct. There we go. Put that away. All right. Let us carry on. Okay, so how's that? I mean, yes, I know, I know, I noticed that one area. Wait, where is it? Right here. 
Um, I can actually fix that very easily by just stacking the ceilings. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and mark which one is the ones that are sticking out by doing this. So that way I'll know when I go down below, I'll just have to, all I have to do is just look and see which one is not quite correct. And this should allow me to fix it. At least utilizing the triangles at the very least. Okay, uh, this is going to take me a second, so I'm going to go ahead and try to clear this up to the best of my ability. Come on. There we go. Oh, okay. Yep, I'm going to clean that up. And uh, yeah, I'm going to also go ahead clean that up and then go ahead and build up our third one, probably significantly smaller than this one. And I'll see you guys back real soon. Oh man, we're almost done. All right, welcome back, welcome back again. We're finally nearing the final stages and you know what? I forgot to actually, I, I don't think I actually showed this off, but here's how to do the sides. Now, I'm just putting down all the walls I'm putting down the walls on the miniature one. So this is the rafters. This is like rafters, dilos, you know, tacky, cephalosaurus. Do I ever tame those? Probably not in this late in the game. But, you know, smaller sized creatures and whatnot. That works. All right. So obviously we're gonna need to seal that up, but just a brief little s snippet on how to do the sides. So first thing, first things first. You're going to need the pillars. So let's go ahead and replace this. That, that, and that. Keep that on your bar, of course. Put that there. Let's see. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Not one. Probably. Really? 100%. Alright, so pillars. Let's swap that actually. Swap that back. We got the medium pillars we'll put there. And we'll put the small pillars right here. Okay, so if you have a look at this, we have tech. We have, we have the tech variants on the outside here. And then we also have the metal on the, on the inside there. So, first things first. Oh man, I mean, this is why I brought the science props. Anyway. Alright. Jump up. Hop up. And hop. Hop up. There we go. And hop up. Oh, that's already placed. Okay, perfect. So we jump up. Just to give myself a foothold, let's go ahead and press 6 and... Nope, nope, rock, that's definitely not the right place. But you know what, that actually works. Give me something to stand on. So we're going to place the opposite direction. Oh, no, we're going to... Come on, place right. Oh wait, I see, I see what happened. I see what happened, I made a wrong placement. Oh man, that happens to the best of us. And then try to just uh, find your snap point. Oh gosh. Or you can just fall right into where you're trying to place. You guys saw it for a second. Aha, there it is. Anyone give me the snap point over here? Give me the right, give me the right snap point. Give me the snap point. Oh my gosh, I hope, I hope ASA optimizes this, has this better optimized because good grief, man. I just want to put the freaking ceiling there. I'm already going to spend like two days editing this. Can we just thank you? Gosh. Okay. So now that that's finally placed, good grief. Why was that more difficult than it needed to be? Because this game hates my guts. That's why. So. Boom. 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 And boom. And that's it for the tech. Now for these guys. Place 
that. Place that. Let's play this game. Thank you. There we go. And around this side. Do the small one. On, on the floor here. Now, I have found that placing the small, uh, the small pillars first makes it actually easier to get the medium ones placed because there's actually like a spot and also just to kind of fill in those points if that makes sense i mean i guess you can put a mat that there as well so now that they're a snap point for those other pillars has been created you can oh actually boom all right after a server restart and a whole lot of other shenanigans that took place, are y'all ready to see the up? Are y'all are y'all ready? Are you ready? Oh man, I can't talk today. Today is not a recording day. It is not a recording day at all. But are you ready? Are you ready? All right. Three, two, and one. Dun, da, da. Go ahead and turn that off. But yeah, check it out. Behold, we have the small one. And we got the med medium one right over here. And then we got the big one over here. Now, I'm still working on out the kinks here a little bit. I'm probably going to put these, like I said, I'm probably going to push these all the way back. To where they're up against the AC unit here, just so there's the most space possible. Um, as well, I want to move the, um, the tech, this guy into a more central area so like probably in this one like right here in the middle since it is in the middle i figure that that makes the most sense well in my mind that makes the most sense so putting this guy in a more central area just makes the most sense and i also have gates all the way around to keep this place nice and safe it should be good, should be good. I fixed all those issues I had earlier with the roofs. So that's that's done. What is that? I have no idea what that is. Anyways, but yeah, this is the whole thing. I'm going to paint it. Um, you can actually see, like that's clearly the biggest one. There's, then there's this one and then that guy. So you can kind of see an aerial view here, the entire area. It's not that big. Like this area is not big. I probably could have put a couple like one more over here, what, uh, maybe like in the corner over here, but you know the terrain is not very flat on this side. And also there's all of that over there, I can expand out. But again, I don't, I don't like taking up humongous amounts of space if I don't have to. Um, I think that, I think doing that is a little extreme, but man, I'll tell y'all what, I'll tell y'all what, it is quite, Fun, fun to be finally done now i think i'm going to actually go ahead and paint this thing up with the signature tribe colors i think that would be really really cool and uh yeah um one more update and then this video will be done at last after like what two, maybe like a week and a half to two weeks i've been working on this i forget how long it's been but yeah be right back with this thing now being painted oh man All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. And holy cow, I just realized how loud my mic is. Let's go ahead and cut that down just a little bit. Holy cow. All right, so check it out. So we got blue, some blue, blue walls, black, or blue walls, blue walls and ceilings. Well, the roofs anyway. We got black on the, uh, on the floors and then cyan on the, on the ramps. So you can kind of see right here. We got cyan on the ramps. And those are black and cyan right there. Also in here, we got them all black. The foundations are all black with cyan lights. Um, I wasn't sure if, I kind of left the ceilings blank for right now, because I'm not sure if I wanted to paint those white or no. Probably not. I might do the same thing as I did here. Just do the black and the cyan, but I haven't done that yet, but it is for the most part done. So as I kind of walk around here, I probably missed a couple spots. Like there is stuff that's in the ground that I can't actually reach. 
or I just straight up missed some, some like this. To be fair, I sat here and I painted for like a long time. Like I was sitting here paint, just running around doing this for like ages. It's a lot of pillars. It is a lot of pillars, but yeah, cool. This is for the most part finished. I'm quite satisfied with it. I think it looks great. Um, all of the all of the internals and whatnot I'll worry about um, off camera. But I mean, look at this place. It looks freaking cool. Kind of looks kind of reminds me of cryopods in a way. I mean, there there was that arc of time where people wanted to build cryopods as their base. hit backspace there but yeah that's the base it looks good i like it i'll get an aerial view for view for the thumbnail but guys that's gonna do it for today i hope you guys did enjoy i mean it's a little bit of a slower episode a little bit of more of a relaxing one but hey i had fun i had a lot of fun it wasn't fun recording but it was fun building this thing up uh i will definitely be using this instead of the one at base i'll probably have a few more setups here and there like because i mean uh before i start actually started recording art on pc i did a lot of reading as you guys know and a lot of what also ended up happening is i had like little uh the little units spread out over all over the place with a couple of acs and then like the di um the dino storage unit just up around it just out and about and what and that just ended up working out very very well so that's pretty much what we'll do there so i'll just have like a random okay like i'll just show you all right like i'll just have a random uh let's just say i like okay like right here right like okay we're breeding a creature right here okay there we go breed a creature right here let's go and we'll go ahead depending on where the female is let's say it's a, like a raptor or something so it's like right here We'll put two AC units right there, and then that'll be a section, right? So this is, like, greater amount of room than uh, at the base, because they can I can just do that, and I can breed all the creatures I want all at the same time, which is kind of the whole point of this base in the first place, is I want to be able to breed as many creatures at, at, at a time at, all at once, and I think a bigger area would, would uh, serve that perfectly. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. But yeah, cool, cool. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. All that lovely jazz. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy.